Welcome to VI Tech Ability YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up Jisoo screen reader and do the important settings. This video will be useful to those who are beginner to CSR and want to learn more about it. If you are an advanced user also, you can watch this video till the end so that you could correct me if I made any mistakes. And if you want any specific video on any specific topic of this year then please let me know in the comment box so without any delay let's begin the video i have installed this show and one thing to know that comment screen reader is not available in the play store you need to sideload this app the download link for this application is available in the description box so after you install you will get permission help button set up wizard button set up wizard a screen you need to do some basic settings click on the setup wizard Check button permission status commentary close cancel button next button next invert swiping gestures deny button allow button allow jishua plus to access photos media and files on your device allow button. allow the storage access so that it could read the internal storage and also write on it it requires this because uh, csr need to save its settings and other things in the internal stories. Deny button. Allow button. Invert swipe gestures. Use default gestures. Close. Invert swipe gestures. Button. There are two type of gestures in this view. One is invert. Another is default. Default means that you could navigate through the items by swiping down or up. And invert swipe gesture means it is similar to talkback where you will navigate through the items or perform the navigation by swiping left and right first invert swipe gestures button invert swipe gestures read usage hints next let's decide with close button if you want the show to provide you users hints then you can click on yes it is similar to talk back no button i don't want so i will just press the no button no read the focus list items index close button no button so focus list item index means uh, if there is any list or any list of items then this show will give each of them one number uh, index number that is some kind of i feel some kind of disturbance on that therefore i don't want it yes button no button no automatically read notifications from the notification bar read notifications button if you want csr to read the notification automatically the incoming notification automatically then you can click on this option if you don't want click on don't read notifications don't button. read notification don't read notifications use a single tts engine commentary use a single tts use so, tts engines at the same time button. another important feature of uh, csr is that we can use two tts engine at the same time it means that uh, there will be one main tts and another secondary secondary tts the main TTS will work for performing the main activities whereas the secondary TTS is used for performing the additional things or reading the additional things. For example, if you increase the volume, then the secondary TTS will announce the volume percentage whereas the secondary TTS will also read the uh, notification that the incoming notification so if you want to use two tts then you can click uh, on use, use two tts engines at the same time this button. if you don't want use a single tts engine button click on use single tts engine use a single tts engine okay button should you need to run the basic setup wizard again okay button okay the basic setup has been completed I setup wizard. On okay. Visual plus. And check permission status two of seven here is the permission status Permissions not it granted. requires other Selected. access approximate location network base only in the foreground. Permission as well. Unless 13 items. So permissions not granted. Out if of you list. want uh, to provide other permission, then you can click on. Okay. Button. Okay. After that, this show will ask for various kind of permission, and if you want to allow them, you can simply click on allow and grant the permission. But for me, uh, this show works perfectly without allow allowing those additional permission therefore i am not clicking on ok and allowing the other permission but if in case you get trouble or the issue doesn't function properly then you may need to allow those permission so cancel button it all depends upon your needs 
Setup wizard. Jituo plus. Check display pop-up window permission status. Three of seven. Display pop-up window permission has not been granted. Cancel. Because Grant permission. Button. This will require this to uh, perform OCR and other kind of things. So this will also have the feature of OCR like in the NVDA where it performs OCR uh, on any screen. And if that application is inaccessible or uh, unusable, then slightly you can use this, use that application by just performing OCR on that particular thing. Cancel button. Grant so permission for button. that you need Setup display, display pop-up window display, display over permission. Other apps. Allow display over other apps. Not checked. Checkbox. One of two. In list. Two items. Checked. So let me. Jituo plus. Check display pop-up window permission status. Three of seven. In list. Check ignore battery optimization permission status. Four of seven. So this one is ignore battery optimization where if your battery optimizer application kills this show time and again then you may need to allow Ignore this battery permission. Ignore permission has not been granted. Cancel. Button. Okay. Button. Allow. Deny. Battery. Allowing Jishuo Plus to always run in the background may reduce battery life. Deny. Button. So if you want Jishuo to always run in the background and not killed by the battery saver, then you can allow this. For me, it works fine without allowing this also. So I don't want to. I will click on Allow deny, deny button. button. Set up wizard. Jishuo Plus. Check ignore battery optimization permission status. Check notification display permission status. Five of seven. So this permission will automatically be allowed. Check automatic startup permission status. Six of seven. Auto start. If you okay, want this show to start automatically uh, when you turn on your device, you can simply click on this permission and choose this show to automatically start. For me, it works fine without this permission. This show automatically starts. Therefore, I will go back Jishuo plus check automatic startup permission status Six of, about commentary screen writer seven of seven so the basic setup has been completed junction reg selected Jishuo 20 general settings Jishuo plus now download additional resources 10 of 15 cloud notes 11 of 15 reading mode 12 of 15 let's accessibility settings 13 turn of 15. on from the accessibility settings volume key shortcut top back one of five in list five items vision Jishuo plus provided by Jishuo plus off two of 16 Jishuo plus back button out of list Jishuo Plus. Accessibility. Not checked. Checkbox. One of. Jishuo Plus. Alright. I have turned on Jishuo. Now let's do the other important settings. Feedback settings. TTS settings. First, let's go to TTS settings. TTS settings. And Navigate up button. TTS settings TTS engine choose this option TTS, TTS engine TTS engine we will not talk about each and every uh, settings available in this show because it will take a lot of time and this video will be quite longer I will only talk about the important settings so that you could understand about the important option and do the customization on your own TTS engine TTS engine allows to set the main T use a single TTS engine checkbox checked everything TTS rate acceleration this function is still in beta it allows to accelerate the TTS rate so the TTS rate acceleration is similar to that of uh, NVDA where you can uh, uh, boost the rate of text to speech that will extremely uh, increase the speed TTS rate acceleration this function is still in beta so if you click it on this then the you'll TTS and TTS rate. get the uh, option to accelerate the TTS it might create sometime problem because it doesn't work perfectly with each and every text to speech out there so do it on your own you can experiment on your own and after that there is TTS option. rate TTS rate this one is TTS rate so this will just increase the TTS rate like you increase the text to speech rate from the uh, text to speech settings in your Android device. TTS rate 59 unchecked. So you can 58 unchecked. 59 increase the unchecked. rate from here. TTS engine. TTS volume ratio. And from here you can boost the TTS volume. If the volume is extremely low, then you can click here and boost the volume. 
TTS bit TTS volume ratio TTS pitch Audio ducking checkbox unchecked controls whether the volume use accessibility volume checkbox unchecked So all the things are self explanatory so I will talk about this option uh this show will normally use the music volume if you don't check this option that will create a lot of problem while listening to audio or watching any video because both the media volume and the screen reader volume will be controlled through the same uh thing therefore you need to check this option so that this show screen reader and the media volume will be separated check so after i check uh the media volume will not affect the uh screen reader volume new 70 65 60 50 i am decreasing the music volume but still the uh csr volume is same music volume 60 use the proximity sensor checkbox on check controls whether speech is stopped when the proximity sensor is touched uh make sure to check this option if you want the proximity sensor to affect the speech like in the talk back where if you move your uh, hand near to the earpiece then the speech will be automatically be turned off check stop reading when touching the screen check box unchecked and if you want to stop the reading by just touching then make sure to check this option as well check prevent the screen from locking while speaking check box check controls whether the screen is kept awake while the tts is speaking so this has been checked uh this means that uh, the screen won't turn off until uh, the screen reader stops to read tts engine so let's go back back button tts settings back button jishuo plus operation settings another important setting is inside the operation, operation settings. settings we need to search Shortcut for shortcut gesture settings navigation settings navigation, navigation settings, settings. improve node rendering speed detail focus mode checkbox check this option might potentially allow to focus more elements please enable or disable it according to your needs so this has already been checked in default so i will not change this one improve node rendering speed checkbox on check turning on this option might increase the response speed of some software however compatibility can be broken so you can experiment this on your own invert swiping gestures checkbox check controls whether the swipe gestures are inverted for the default gesture speed this. wrap navigation checkbox check wrap navigation means that uh, when the cursor reaches to the end of the element then it will again come to, to the top and uh, start the navigation if you want that kind of feature then you can check this option in default it is checked warn before navigation wrapping occurs check box unchecked make sure to check this check. otherwise uh, you won't notice that the cursor has come up again remember position of the focus check box unchecked uh this will help Check. you a lot if you are doing multitask in your device or let's say if you are using two application and uh you don't want to navigate from the top if you switch the application uh so in order to remember the focus you should check this option read the remembered focus item checkbox on check check and if you check this option then the focus item will automatically be uh remember and if you switch back to that application then it will this show will automatically read that focus item use new web browsing handler checkbox on check the new web browser handling method might increase the web browsing speed however it might also cause it check uh you can check this option but i didn't find any change the speed of navigation or other thing allow moving by element type on the web checkbox on check this one is the important thing uh if you need to move according to the element type in the web page or web application then you should definitely check this option check customize web page element navigation from here you can choose the customize elements web page element navigation that you want in the web page navigation customize web page default unchecked check check the things that Headings you want check check boxes unchecked check landmarks unchecked check buttons unchecked check links unchecked check headings unchecked check and okay button just choosing all the things that you want click on okay to apply customize web page element navigation default headings links buttons allow moving by element type in the android standard interface checkbox unchecked controls check check this uh because without 
enabling this option you can't navigate according to the element type in the standard uh, android navigation like in the talkback where you could navigate according to character buttons controls lines paragraph wise so for that you need to check this option and customize standard view element navigation customize the view element navigation customize standard view element navigation element view navigation default unchecked check the checked. things that you want labels unchecked check buttons unchecked check text boxes unchecked images check boxes progress lists unchecked list items unchecked Fo no clickable elements unchecked nodes unchecked scrolling mode unchecked vertical navigation unchecked characters unchecked words unchecked characters unchecked check words unchecked check lines unchecked check headings unchecked screen areas unchecked okay button and after choosing the things that you want click on okay customize standard view element navigation default Le use the alternative element navigation mode checkbox unchecked controls whether an alternative element navigation mode is used in this mode up down and down up gestures are used to switch the navigation element while the so what does this feature do is it is like the new clockback gesture where you will swipe down and up or up and down to uh, change the navigation element type uh, so if you want that kind of feature check this option if you don't want don't check it remember the selected navigation type when changing windows checkbox unchecked if you want you can check this option this will remember the last navigation type of that particular window check automatically scroll pages checkbox unchecked controls whether pages are automatically scrolled when the last item of a multi-page view is reached if you want the page to be automatically be scrolled then you can check this option in some cases uh, it might create some trouble because it will automatically change the page and you might be confused therefore better not to check this option so you just listen a sound it means that uh, the navigation the rap navigation is going to occur therefore it has warned me so let's get back, back. the settings operation settings navigation has been settings. completed for navigation one and now let's Ed, go short, hotkey scheme settings multi-part gesture the, settings fingerprint reader gestures other settings and to the end and click on this other setting other settings disable custom gestures and character by character use the node browsing mode use multi-finger gestures checkbox on check use touch browsing mode do not disable if you were blind checkbox check allow resuming the screen reader exclusively from the notification bar checkbox on check make sure to check, check this option because if you disable the screen reader or disable the browse by touch then you can enable from the notification panel operation settings other back button Digital all right plus. the operation, operation settings. settings has been completed let's reading go settings. to notification reading, reading, reading settings, settings. reading settings navigate up button reading settings dynamic alert reading settings list reading settings label reading settings this one is important label option here label reading settings automatically read the window title checkbox check controls whether the read web page control type checkbox check controls whether all types of controls are announced on web pages if the option is off only the most important control types like links headings and buttons are read if you just want the important uh, web page elements then you can uncheck this option if you want all the web page uh, navigation elements like text box uh, and landmarks etc then you can leave it as it is read unlabeled controls checkbox unchecked controls whether an unlabeled so control this one is check important uh, so if any button is unlabeled then this will read that button id and provide you the label so check this option read the index when the control has no label checkbox unchecked controls whether the index of the control is read when it has neither label nor id please so note that this option works even when the index reading is turned off this means that if that button doesn't have label and also doesn't consist of any id then uh, this show will automatically provide a index number for that button so if you want to if you want this show to be in that way then check this option it might be helpful in some cases and in some cases uh, it might be confusing because it will just give you a button number not the id it will just give you random um, index number for that button so in some cases it will be confusing therefore i won't check back button reading settings label reading settings 
and let's Dynamic see what other things settings. are here. Intelligent reading settings, screen state reading settings, earpiece mode settings, character explanation settings. So this character one. explanation settings. Character explanation settings. Read the text first when explaining checkbox checked. Read the index of Aladdin letter checkbox unchecked. So this is not much important. It will just give you the index number of that particular Latin letter. Like for E, it will give you five something like that so it will be kind of disturbing read capital letters checkbox unchecked check this option check. because this show will read the uh, capital letter later read phonetic words checkbox unchecked if you want this show to provide the description for that particular character like uh, r for romeo i for india like that then make sure to check this option check back button Reading settings, custom label and alias settings, content filtering settings, character explanation settings. So there is nothing Back much button. here. Advanced settings. Now let's go to advanced the settings. advanced settings. Navigate up button. Advanced set. Voice assistant and translation settings. OCR settings. Timer settings. Article reading mode settings. Auto start plugins. Scheduled tasks. Resource manager. Commentary text editor. Jishua web browser. Operation settings, input method handling settings, power management settings, menu customization, power management settings. So one of the important option is this one, power management settings. Click power here. Power management settings. And power management settings. Power saving mode checkbox unchecked. It is recommended to check, check. this option. When you first install the issue and start running it, you might see that your battery is draining fast. So to prevent that, you need to check this one. Power saving mode. Prevent killing the screenwriter checkbox unchecked. It is recommended to check this option if the screenwriter is often killed by the system battery optimization mechanisms. So make sure to check this if your screenwriter gets killed automatically even by allowing the permission that you saw in the startup wizard section. Back button. Advanced settings. Power management settings. Menu customization. Profiles. Profiles can be used to other setting. Back up and restore. So this one backup is and for backup and restore it will back up your settings and uh, you can also restore the settings so when backup you restore. when you backup settings click on this backup settings uh, you commentary screen reader will back up all your settings in the internal storage and when you restore reinstall csr then you can simply restore settings click on this Restore settings selecting this option lets you restore settings from a previous restore, restore the, settings. all the settings. So selecting this option lets you restore settings. Cancel button. OK button. If I click OK here, then it will simply restore all my settings that has been stored on the internal storage. For now, I will not do cancel this. Cancel button. I'll just click on cancel and back button. Advanced settings. Cloud backup and restore. This one is cloud, cloud backup, backup and, restore. and restore. For this, uh, you may need to be signed in uh, to the user center in order to backup all your settings and other things in the cloud. So this will store all your settings and other things in the uh, commentary screen reader server. And after you reinstall your screen reader and sign in with the same account, then you can simply restore all those settings but i am not sure if this is a paid feature or not that's all for this video if you want more interesting videos like this make sure to subscribe this channel and hit that thumbs up